Hey lovelies, welcome to Blending Allures. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a two-piece dress. So I'll be drafting the top and the um, skirt today. So please stay tuned to the end of the tutorial if you want to learn how to make all these. If you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. If you have not subscribed, please do that. Please click on the subscribe button. Please ensure you give my video a thumbs up and drop your comment in the comment section. Let me know how you feel or where you are confused about this tutorial. And also follow me on Instagram, Lenny Allows. So please follow me on Instagram. So we'll go straight to the drafting of the top. And we're going to draft the top first before drafting the skirt so um, this is my pattern paper you can use whatever pa pattern paper you can afford or you can uh, have access to so you're going to divide your bust measurement divided by four and you're going to add extra 10 inches to it the first thing first uh, is to measure four inch out of your uh, pattern paper after taking the um, measurement that's your bust measurement divided by four adding 10 more inches to it so we're going to go ahead and mark four inches down the pattern paper so you go ahead and do yours i'm going to connect the dot and form a straight line so you can use your ruler and to do that So after doing that we are just going to fold this four inside as shown in the video so go ahead and fold your pattern paper inside i'm going to fold the four inside so ensure um you fold it well you fold the paper your pattern paper well so we're going to go ahead and take the length the length of the top is 19 inches including folding allowance so if you want your shirt to be longer not to be a crop top a crop shirt you can go ahead and make yours 23 24 and after folding is going to end at 22 so i'll go ahead and mark out the length of my top so you can even make your shorter it all depends on you on you and how creative you want your uh, top to look like or how different so i'll go ahead and mark out the length of my top so i've gone ahead to mark the length so at that point at the beginning of the pattern paper that would be a starting point not a shoulder line please is the starting point please pay attention so that you understand all i'll be drafting and all i'll be saying so follow attentively so at this point here we are just going to go ahead and mark the depth of our neckline as 2.5 so go ahead and mark your mark it also on your pattern paper then the shoulder uh, our neck circumference we're just going to mark two inches so if you want yours to be wider you can go ahead and mark 2.5 inches depend on your client's uh, neckline so but it's it shouldn't be more than 2.5 that's two and a half inches so i'll go ahead and mark my two inch and connect the uh, dots to form a a curve so automatically that 2.5 where we form our neck uh, line at the depth of our neckline will become our shoulder line so i'll go ahead and mark 2.5 inch all through and i'm going to connect the dot to form a line so automatically like i told you that's a shoulder line for now So the next thing to do is to mark our shoulder divided by two shoulder divided by two you're going to add half inch to it and depend on how you want it you can add one inch to yours so i'll go ahead and mark my shoulder divided by two
the next thing to do I'm going to go down and mark um, the depth of my armhole I mark the depth of the armhole then also after marking the depth of the armhole I'm going to take the same measurement I took for the shoulder line I'm going to take the same measurement at this point also so automatically this is our chest line so I'll go ahead and connect the uh, point uh, the dot at the chest line to the shoulder line to form our arm or I'll go ahead and do that and also draw out our chest line So the next thing to do, do is to connect the shoulder line to meet the um, the neckline. That's our shoulder slope. So go ahead and connect your shoulder line to meet the uh, the neckline. The next thing to do is to divide our bust uh, circumference by four. Then add half inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance. So you go ahead and add one and a half inch to your bust measurement divided by four. So I've done that. So at the end, at the length of our top, you're going to also take same measurement you took for the bust. That's what you're going to take for the uh, at the end of the top. So that we be practically all for the front drafting of the front uh, pattern so I'll go ahead and mark the same um, measurement at the bottom of our or at the end of our top then I connect it then also shape our arm um, and that will be basically all for the drafting of the front um, pattern for our shirt so I'll go ahead and cut out the un uh, the unnecessary part that we do not need for this. So I'll cut it out. I've done that and I just want to open it so you can see how the front pattern look like. You remember the fold that we flipped inside, we folded inside. So that's how the front pattern look like. So I'm going to place the front pattern on the back pattern as shown in the video so you're just going to put something heavy on top of your pattern so it can lie straight so i'm going to cut that particular place that i have just shown so i'll go ahead and cut it down so i've done that after doing that i'll I'm going to um, push the front pattern downward by 4 inch so you ensure the distance between the back pattern at the up and the, um, the front pattern is 4 inches so I'll go ahead and verify if it is 4 inches then I'll, I'm going to fold it, flip it over, fold it to meet the front pattern at the shoulder line then ensure that it laps by half inch so that's why i just for me for it to be accurate we're going to mark at the half inch on top on top of the front pattern so that it will be accurate and not assumption so you can see i'll fold it to overlap it with one half inch so after doing that i'm going to place something there to hold up the fold so the next thing to do is to draw the the neckline of the back you know the front neckline is already drawn out and we have already cut it out so you are just going to um, connect the front neckline to meet the back neckline on the fold not that uh, the place that we folded to overlap the front that's the only place we are going to cut out we are not going to cut the other part of it so please watch carefully so that you don't do the wrong thing so you can see that I didn't cut the other part of it it's just that place that was folded that I, I cut out 
so that will be basically all for the drafting of the back pattern the next thing to do is just to trace to cut out the shape of the front pattern on the back pattern so i'll go ahead and do that and also connect the armhole so i'm through with that so that's basically all for the drafting of the of the shirt the vintage shirt so when 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 we are going to be sewing it that's when i'm going to draft we're going to draft out the um collar for the shirt for the shirt you can see how it looks like so please look at mine so that when you when you are done drafting yours you want to find yours abnormal you can see how mine is so we are going to go ahead to draft the the skirt no i told you it's two piece so it's a skirt and a top so this is a uh, 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 fabric that we're going to use for the skirt it's a stretchy fabric so i folded it into four i love folding my fabric into four mostly if i'm not using pattern so i folded my fabric into four and the front as usual there's no slit at the front and the back there's slit and that's the space for the zipper allowance in case you want to put the zipper but even if you don't want to put zipper just make sure that that back part is cut out it really gives you very good shape when that join is at the back of your skirt so we're going to go ahead and mark out our waistline i've already taken the length of the skirt i've already taken the length of the skirt so uh, we are going to minus one and a half inch from the length of the skirt why because that part is the band so one and a half inch you can see as shown in the video you want to minus one and a half inch for the skirt band so when taking your length you minus four and a half and eh, sorry one and a half inch so the hip line is seven inch so we're going to go ahead and mark out our waist our waistline our waist measurement divided by four so you're not going to really add uh seam allowance because it's a stretchy fabric but if you just want to add you can go ahead and add so for our hip we've already marked out our hip divided by four hip line at the hip line so at the end of the of the of the skirt we are going to take same measurement as we took at the waistline because it's a pencil skirt but if you want yours to be a little bit maybe is at the bottom you can just add half inch to the waist measurement or you can go ahead and even reduce it more than the waist measurement it depends on how shapey you want the bottom of your skirts to look like so just go ahead and connect the waist to the hip and the hip down to the length of the skirt you can see that it is the shape of our skirt is coming out so you go ahead and do that so like i told you if you want it to be more tight at the bottom you can go ahead and start removing half inch from the waist measurement at the length of the end of the skirt so it depends on you so if you want it this way you can also go ahead and do it that way as shown in the video so I would, that would be basically all for the drafting of the skirt so i'll just go ahead and cut out this shape so so you can explore whatever way you want it like i told you you want it tighter you can go ahead and make it smaller than the waist measurement so i'm going to do with the first uh, line i'm not going to do with the other line because i don't want it to really be too tight on the client so i'll go ahead and cut out the shape out so i've done that to the skirt i've cut it out so the next thing to do i'm going to minus half inch from the front of the skirt at the need at in the front pattern of the skirt so we're just going to measure half inch at the needle point and we're going to slope it down to meet the end of the skirt as shown in the video so i'll go ahead and cut that part of it go ahead and cut it out so the next thing after cutting it out 
the next thing to do is to cut out your band cut out a long uh, strip then you go ahead and it should be it should be a four and a half inch or four inch sorry to say four inch by the um, width of your skirt or your waist measurement so that will be for our band so thank you for watching this tutorial the next video i'll be uploading will be the sewing of the top the shirt and the skirt so please stay tuned to my channel give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye